for catching it. It appears to strike people around the age of 50, but it doesn't appear to be genetic. Doctors say more research is needed. Well, the tanning industry has a new campaign that tries to undermine scientific research about the harmful effects of tanning beds and chemical sprays. NBC News reports a new training seminar and video gives salon employees talking points to use outside the salon to argue that tanning is actually good for you. The video uses old tobacco industry ads that once had doctors endorsing smoking even after it was widely known that cigarettes are dangerous. The video claims the medical industry, which was once paid to endorse cigarettes, is now being paid by chemical sunscreen companies to say the sun and tanning are bad. Joe Levy is executive director of the international Smart Tan Network. He's the point man in the industry's campaign to shift the conversation from indoor tanning risks to its purported benefits like vitamin D. In 2009, UV-emitting tanning devices were designated as carcinogenic, and the American Academy of Dermatology urges minors not to use sunbeds. Some members of the TSA are being retrained after allegations of racial profiling surfaced. Agents at Boston's Logan International Airport say fellow employees were assigned to target Mexicans, African Americans, and Brazilians for questioning. Officers complained to the American Civil Liberties Union, and the TSA conducted an internal investigation. Now, officers nationwide who are trained to look for suspicious behavior will take refresher courses to reinforce that racial and ethnic profiling will not be tolerated. Some people in Selma, Alabama, want to restore a monument honoring a Civil War Confederate general and former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard, but they're not getting a whole lot of support from the locals. A statue of General Nathan Bedford Forrest was placed at a seven-foot-tall monument at a local cemetery. And protesters demanded it be removed from public property. And in March, the statue was stolen. A group called Friends of Forest wants to build a larger statue. They plan to put it back in the cemetery with a fence around it. Others argue the general was a slave trader, the first leader of the Ku Klux Klan, and does not deserve a public memorial. Coming up next, we're learning about more about Chicago's oldest residential neighborhood. And still to come in today's Midday Fix, a look at the latest budget-friendly fashions for going back to school. Shouty at the bar. Wanna look at me and I can tell you want some deep. Friday on WGN, he's not a cub anymore. Colvin and Colorado stop by Clark and Addison. Go! Cubs and Rockies, Friday afternoon baseball from Wrigley, 1 o'clock on WGN. Saturday on WGN. Stretch! Let the fireworks begin. AJ and the Sox are ready to light things up on the south side as they take a few swings at Seattle. White Sox, Mariners, Saturday at 5.30 on WGN. That old car is worth money. Call Victory Auto Wreckers at 630-860-2000 for a quote or save money with used parts. Victory Auto Wreckers, 710 East Green in Bensonville near O'Hare, 630-860-2000. Safe You know, hanging out with UFC fighters is a great way to feel safe at your fake home. Guys, what did I tell you about wearing shirts at the table? Sorry, Sorry Norm. Norm. But to feel safe on the road, you should get affordable state minimum coverage from Safe Auto. Hey, guys. Muffins are ready. So call Safe Auto today and start feeling as safe and as thrifty as we do. Right, men? Right, Norm. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. Drive safe, spend less. You know, I was once used for small jobs. Yeah, and I took on all the bigger, tougher ones. But now that Mr. Clean's got this new Selectasize Magic Eraser, I mean, he can take on any size job. Look how easily he gets things cleaned. Yeah, it's enough to make you cry. You specifically, not me. I'm just happy we don't go near Rex's mobile home as often. Because it's hard to clean or because you're scared of a nitty-bitty doggy? <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, that was a sneeze. I think I sprayed myself. New Mr. Clean Selectasize Magic Eraser lets you pick the right size for every job. Do you live on Chicago's North Shore with a sliding door that drags? Call Sliders. They'll make your sliding door move with a toothpick. See their website at slidersnorthshore.com. Music is in your blood. I can't stop. Only Cricket includes it in your nationwide plan. Never pay per song. Never limit your expressions. Only Cricket Wireless has move music. Unlimited data, talk, text, and music with no contract. 
all on an Android smartphone. Get held back or call or click now for Move Music from Cricket. Cricket, your call. This week on Chicago's Best, we're headed north. Let's go. Sunday night on WGN. Chicago, Chicago, that toddling time. There's a new book available that shares the history of the, the Chicago, oldest residential neighborhood in Chicago. Chicago. Three people joined forces to put this book together. Maureen F. Sullivan, Joanne gazarek Bloom, and Daniel Porgazelski. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Nice to have I was just saying during the break, I can't believe it took somebody so long to write a book on the history of Bridgeport. This is the, the wouldn't you agree, this is Chicago's most iconic neighborhood. Uh, I definitely agreed. It's uh, an amazing place that's uh, not only the political nexus of Chicago, but a place that weaves so many different narratives of what makes our city great. We, yeah. we couldn't decide. And in fact, the book is about the neighborhood. There's only one, maybe two chapters if you count the labor. Uh, chapter on politics, and, and there was so much to cover. There, it, there really is, and uh, something I didn't know, the original name of Bridgeport, going all the way back to, what, 1830, was Hard Scrabble. Uh, That's correct. The original yeah. name was Lee's right. Place. Lee's right. Place. And then and, Hard Scrabble. If you look at the, uh, the map that was in about the Fort Dearborn incident, I don't know what to call it anymore, uh, the Fort Dearborn Dearborn's, incident. Well, they don't call it massacre no, anymore. Right the Fort now. Dearborn incident that was recently in the paper, you could see on the 1812 map, Lee's place and it was on the south bank and there was a little square there in, the in 1812 yeah mm -hmm. before there was a Chicago there was a bridge there was one a bridge part. yeah and and later on it became hard scrabble and Maureen a very appropriate name wouldn't you agree it's it, yes it's a tough place um, it still is it was much tougher many years ago but mm. yes I how agree. is it that Bridgeport uh, became the first stopping off place for so many immigrants in Chicago jobs yeah not just city jobs Bridgeport is jobs. Bridgeport was the center of commercial and manufacturing. Uh, at one point, I think 40% of the population lived within 10 miles of Bridgeport. Amazing. And you were telling me something rather interesting. The population now is, what, about 35,000? Yes. It was double that at in, one point? In 1900, yes. it was 35,000. By dense. 1920, it was 60, over 60,000. Well. The houses are, there's three houses built in one city lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, the, the, you could tell there was once a lot of population density there. Daniel, how did it become a political incubator for so many well-known politicians in Chicago? Um, well... It, it, especially mayors. Sure. The dailies, of course. Uh, well, I would argue that it was a United Nations of Chicago, and so it was a microcosm in order to navigate through the different um, ethnic and social groupings. Uh, one had to navigate many of these folks in Bridgeport, so it gave a great testing ground for folks to later up the ante and go across the city stage, one could argue, and it was part of the whole force of democratic politics in Chicago that helped really elevate the New Deal and bring the city to where it is today. And the Irish spoke English, and the original city fathers spoke English, and the Irish were Catholic, and although Bridgeport has like tremendous uh, spread of religion, from and, Buddhist to what, and they gave most them a leg of up. the... Right. Most of the people who came were Catholics, so they could right. deal with the Catholics and speak to the uh, speak to the rulers of the city. Makes perfect sense, uh, Marina. Uh, 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 just about out of time. I just realized we hadn't mentioned the White Sox. This is how we got the White Sox, <laughs> which is a, really a, a metaphor for Bridgeport. Especially last agree? night's game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, it is a metaphor for Bridgeport, and uh, we claim it proudly. Okay, so. here's here's the toughest question. It, it, wouldn't you agree that Bridgeport had has something or did have something of a xenophobic nature about it? What's the, where'd that come from? First of all, do you agree? Uh, at one point, yep. not anymore. Yep. Uh, it's currently the fourth most diverse neighborhood in the city. Um, I have, I still live in the neighborhood, and I have many different types of neighbors. And uh, many you're a little defensive that I asked that question. Are not you? at no. all. Okay. Not at all. Uh, and, and really, just in the last few seconds, it's sort of become uh, gentrified, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has. Some very pricey real estate in Bridgeport. Yes. Uh, actually, we just had a uh, Race Out Loud series. Uh, WBEZ came in, if I can mention them. Uh, came in and did a really nice open conversation with a, a 70 people showed up, and we had a very frank conversation about where the neighborhood was, where it is now, and where it's going. Yeah. Uh, not so hard scrabble anymore, no. but certainly an iconic neighborhood. It's, it's, it, to know Bridgeport is to know Chicago. I, would 
Virginia Green. Thank That's you right. so much. Thank you. Thank you. There is a book uh, launching party and signing on Friday, September the 7th, First Trinity Hall, uh, Hall in Chicago. For more information, just go to BridgeportChicagoBook.com. Thank you all so much. And thank, thank you. you. For a link or if you missed anything, you can rewatch this segment at WGNTV.com slash midday. We will be right back. Looking for a light new car or truck with only 500 on? Then come to Car Credit Center, 7600 Southwestern Avenue, where you'll find the best selection of vehicles at the best prices and payments as low as $65 a week or $189 a month. Pick up the phone right now. Dial 773-737-7600 or visit us on the web, carcredit7600.com. Remember, 7600 Southwestern Avenue, we're open daily until 9 o'clock in the evening. 500 down, you drive today. We guarantee it. Come and establish your credit right now, right here. Now get high-speed internet at home on our newly expanded advanced digital network, a connection you can count on. Introducing AT&T U-verse high-speed internet with more speed options, reliability, and Wi-Fi hotspots than ever. Call AT&T now to get U-verse high-speed internet for as little as $14.95 a month for 12 months with a one-year price guarantee. It's the fastest internet for the price. Our newly expanded advanced digital network gives you more of what you enjoy online. And with AT&T, our wireless gateway turns your home into a private Wi-Fi hotspot that connects your Wi-Fi devices and can even save on your smartphone data usage at home. So call now to get AT&T U-verse high-speed internet for just $14.95 a month for 12 months with a one-year price guarantee. That includes access on the go to our entire national Wi-Fi hotspot network with over 30,000 hotspots. AT&T U-verse high-speed internet. Now on our newly expanded advanced digital network, a connection your whole house can count on. Money issues are the cause of many relationship problems, but you can help avoid this by making sure you and your partner are on the same page. Start with discussing your credit score, debt owed, net worth, and savings. These numbers provide insight on key money habits. If your finances aren't a perfect match, a BMO Harris banker can help you create a budget and savings plan to meet both of your needs and wants. Do you need help strengthening your joint finances? Visit HelpingMakeMoneyMakeSense.com today. Have we got the cutest school models in today on the Midday Fix. How to shop the latest back-to-school fashion trends on a budget. We are with Christina Chow Comer from the Harlem Irving Plaza. But we're not calling it that anymore, are we? It's the hip now. The hip. <laughs> it's the hip. And we've got some hip clothing yes. for the real little ones. And we work our way up to middle school. Yes. Yeah, so let's start with the K-5 through five group. Um, so first we have Kennedy. She's wearing the Harajuku mini line from Target. It is Gwen Stefani's line. So just like the singer, it's bold. It's colorful. Just so full of personality, just like Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy, you look <laughs> great. Yeah, because she dresses her son really yeah, in cool clothes. Exactly. The tank top and the skirt was $14. And of course, we want to transition um, summer clothing into fall clothing. So I got a $17 cardigan also from Target. And so now she's ready for fall and back to school. Perfect. The layering is a really good idea. You're yes. right, especially because sometimes the classrooms get warm, but it's a little bit yes. colder outside. So that looks great. Yeah. So let's move on to our Maddox, our teacher's pet or our little smart guy here. Oh yeah, <laughs> not little. Maddox is the big guy here. He's the second grader, right Maddox? <laughs> <laughs> So he's dressed head to toe from Children's Place. They have a great back to school promotion. The more you buy, the more you save. Oh. So if you buy one to three items, you save 25%. You buy four more, you save 30%. So I got this sweater, which the shirt is actually attached, so it makes for a very easy morning. Oh, interesting, yeah, okay. along with the backpack for $15. Turn on to your backpack, bud. <laughs> All right. And then the jeans are only $10. So make sure you stock up on jeans for boys $10? and girls. $10, that's yeah. great. Yeah, all at Children's Place. <laughs> all right, and yeah, some fancy shoes there too. Too, which yes. are also from uh, uh, from Payless. So always great deals at Payless. Wonderful. So let's move on to Peyton. Now Peyton started dance last year. So when I went to Carson's, I immediately immediately went to the ballerina dress. It was forty dollars, but with a forty percent discount, and I was able to use a twenty percent coupon, the dress went down to twenty five dollars. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and again, you know, with the classrooms being cold or it's, the weather is kind of changing, leggings are a great way to go. They're only seven dollars at Carson's, and if your girl loves sparkly things, I found these belly flats at Children's Place for around $20. They are so cute. So that's attached to the shoe, the little yeah. sparkle that she has going mm -hmm. there. Yep. Isn't that adorable? So much fun. <laughs> Wonderful. And now we are aging up when they really begin to think, what am I wearing? <laughs> it has to be cool. Exactly. So we have Molly, who's in middle school. She's wearing um, an arrow. Uh, 
crop tee, which is very popular this year. And of course, I don't want her to show too much skin, so I got her a tank top to go underneath. And with jeans this year, the skinnier, the better. Oh, so, no. <laughs> they can wear it. <laughs> yeah, she looks great in it. So Erica Sell is selling the super skinny jegging for $30. Her entire outfit came out to be around $50. Um, and then also at Aeropostel, everything is 50% off right now. So a great time to shop at that store. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and you can't forget about shoes. You know, the tribal look is very in. So whether it's moccasins or some kind of print on your top or jewelry, make sure you have that in your closet. Her moccasins are from Kohl's. They're around $30 right now. Oh, looks good. And of course, we cannot forget about the boys because they want to look cool as well. Yeah, so he's also dressed head to toe from Aeropostel. The skater look is very in. So Aeropostel created the Aero Skate Line, which is the hoodie he's wearing. It's only $20 at Aeropostel. His t-shirt and jeans are on $30. And same with boys, you don't want to go with the baggy look. That's out. So you want to go with the more sleek, slim look. And again, Aeropostel, go there now because everything is 50% off. And you can use a coupon if you're on their mailing list. Wow, that's terrific. And now's the time because there's so many things in the beginning of the school year that you have to pay for. So great to get the clothes at a yeah. discount for sure. Yes. And then lastly, let's move on to our high school student, Samantha. If you're fashion forward, you know, love Gossip Girl, loves to follow the trends, Forever 21 is the place to go. It's oh, where yes. I like to shop for all my trendy pieces. Her polka dot shirt and colored jeans all together were $30. Colored denim is the staple in your wardrobe this okay, year. Okay, so still, because I know that really came in last year, mm -hmm. but it's still around this year, the oh, colored yeah. jeans. Oh, yeah, you're going to see it everywhere. And if you go to Forever 21, it's around $18. So it's a steal there. Perfect price. Thank you so yeah. much, Christine. Some great looks and some great prices, which is so important. If you want to find a store that has these looks, you can visit shopthehip.com or we'll link you right there. Go to our webpage, wgntv.com slash midday. Thank you. You all look fabulous. Mom, can fish smell? Dad, do snakes have eyelashes? Mom, why do tigers have to brush their teeth? How many feathers do birds have? Honey, I'm not sure, but look, I'm recording a bunch of animal shows so we can watch it tomorrow and find out. Call to get our UVerse Triple Play Bundle for $89 a month for 24 months. Now get the same great price for two years. Mom? Mm hmm? What does your self guess look like? Uh, we're kind of in a hurry. Let's look it up after school. Here. Thanks, Anita. Ugh. Call to get our triple play for $89 a month. Get the same great price for two years. Plus the total home DVR included, free for life. Dad, did you know ostriches could run faster than horses and an alligator can live up to 100 years? Answer life's most pressing questions instantly. AT&T. Incredible Labor Day deals before the holiday. The Room Place Labor Day sale is on now. Save up to 60% store-wide with zero interest for four years and free furniture. For the first time ever, get this leather dual reclining sofa for only $8.88 and the dual reclining love seat is free. Amazing. Save up to 60%, zero interest for four years and free furniture. Get the greatest offers on the greatest selection at the Room Place's huge Labor Day sale now. Save big during Menards Labor Day Super Sale. Update your home with Nova Brick Mortarless 4 inch brick. It requires fewer screws, less installation time, and is available in nine colors. In split face or smooth, a 105 square foot package is $399 after rebate. Finish your look with new aluminum soften and fascia. It's low maintenance and available in 15 colors. All sell even soften and fascia is 10% off Menards everyday low prices. Save big money at Menards. Right now, when you buy Feldco windows, the labor is just one dollar. Call 866 for Feldco. Get your Feldco windows installed for one dollar with no money down and no interest until 2014. Let the Feldco team of professionals install your windows for just one dollar. Hurry, this offer won't last long. The labor's on us, so hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco.
And good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday to you. We have sunshine emerging across the area after a little cloud cover. We're headed for the warmest temperatures here in 16 days. The first 90 degree reading in that period. The first set of 90s in three weeks around Chicago and perhaps the heaviest rain in five weeks. That to come with a compact storm that's to sweep in with thundery rains late in the coming weekend and into early next week. The arrival or re-energizing uh, of the uh, monsoon rains out in the southwest have given rise to the pattern change that is warming us up. For weeks there's been record-breaking heat out to the west. Well, the rains there have pushed this heat out into the Midwest and the Plain States, and here you can see it taking hold in the nation's heartland. That's why we're warming up to the 90s for the first time since October or August 7th uh, today. That's nearly 16 days. And we're pushing the rain organizing jet that would inhibit the flow of warm air in here out to the west of us. Look how one area of the country cools down and we heat up. Phoenix had a high of 91 yesterday. They've been as high as 116 in the last several weeks. That's how much things have cooled off. Las Vegas had the coolest day yesterday in nearly three weeks uh, in the Chicago area and uh, in the Las Vegas area, and they had the biggest rain, second biggest on record there. They've been as warm as 112. Tucson, 88 yesterday versus 109 in recent weeks. So you get the picture. They've cooled, and we're warming up. And we have red flag warnings out into Missouri and Kansas. Also a fire risk up here in the northern sections of the Rockies, but more monsoonal rains expected out to the west, which keeps the warm air coming in our direction. We'll be in the 90s today, the 90s again tomorrow, and the 90s uh, from all indications on Saturday as well, as you can see right there. And then a rain system comes into the area, and boy, we can use that. At this hour, it's 89 already at Streeter, Fox Lake at 89, Elk Grove Village at 87. It's 87 at Elgin and other 80s at Downers Grove, Kankakee, and Highland, Indiana, as you can see right there. And here are these rains out to the west. Little impulses right around the top of this uh, uh, hot air dome that's coming into our area. And we had some showers in our area earlier today. Of course, out in the tropics, south of Puerto Rico, where there's a hurricane watch in effect, We've got to Isaac, the tropical storm that is barreling into the Caribbean. It's going to make contact with land the next couple of days. That will inhibit a huge strengthening. But as it emerges from Cuba and up into the Gulf of Mexico in the next four to five days, it could begin strengthening and affect parts of Florida and the Gulf Coast. So folks in that area on the alert for that happening. 79 is our temperature here in Chicago, but it's 88 at Des Moines and 90 already in St. Louis. So we've got some hot weather on the way and the humidity which have been quite low are going to come up too. So that'll add to the, uh, the heat that we have coming in for the weekend. More on that and a look toward Labor Day next weekend uh, coming up later on. That's a big forecast. Thanks, Tom. You bet. Time now for the results from today's midday poll. Yeah, we uh, asked, would you like to, for Chicago to have a second professional football team, NFL team? 34% said yes, but a lot of Bears fans, perhaps 66% said no. Thanks for voting. I'm surprised at those yeah, numbers. Here's some of the feedback we received on Facebook, though. Brad says, well, it would be nice to get a winning team. Why not? We have the Sox and Cubs. Vanessa says, no, the Bears are Chicago's team. You can't add another team and give our city yet another reason to be divided. We always like to hear what you think about these issues. We've got much more to come also in the uh, noon hour of the Midday News. Ahead, scientists discover a new disease with AIDS-like symptoms, plus a health update on the graduate student who contracted a flesh-eating bacteria. And the number of customers affected by contaminated fuel from BP's Whiting, Indiana refinery is climbing. We've got the latest on that coming up in the noon hour of the Midday News in a couple of minutes. Buying eyeglasses is personal. Do they make me look too old? Should I get the red ones? Most glasses will improve your vision, but the right glasses are an extension of your personality. Find your look with VisionWorks Unlimited BOGO Sale. Buy one complete pair, get the second pair free. Any frames, any lenses, even designer frames and no-line bifocals. VisionWorks, where you'll find more than a pair of glasses, you'll find a better you. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Call 1-888-541-6171 today.
Get the top networks and popular channels like AMC and Discovery in digital quality. Plus, never miss a thing with HD DVR service. Record your favorite shows and watch them on your schedule in stunning HD. Call 1-888-541-6171 and get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months. Don't forget to ask how you can get Xfinity On Demand with the best in entertainment anytime on any device. Plus, premium channels like HBO and Showtime. Get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-888-541-6171 and make the switch now. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Tonight at 5, fantasy football season about to get into full swing. So where should you hold your draft to maximize the football fun? We've got a few ideas. We'll see you at 5. This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Family and friends today attend the funeral of volleyball star Megan Boken, who was killed in St. Louis. And there are some new developments in the case at this hour. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Sanders. And I'm Dina Baer. Detectives in St. Louis are questioning a person of interest in the case. Sister station KTVI is reporting the 18-year-old man was arrested in another robbery case. But police are also asking him questions about Megan Boken's murder. Back here in Illinois, her family is saying goodbye. WGN's Julian Cruz live now in Wheaton with more. Julian. Steve, loved ones and friends perhaps unaware of the developments in the investigation as they say goodbye to Megan Bogan here at St. Michael Catholic Church. I love her and I miss her a ton and she was a great person, someone that I really looked up to. There's heartbreak in Wheaton, people consoling one another at St. Michael Catholic Church. Hundreds are here to say goodbye to Megan Bogan. The 23-year-old was shot and killed in St. Louis. This was on Saturday afternoon, the victim of what appears to have been an armed robbery, that attack happening in broad daylight, taking the life of the former St. Louis University volleyball star. Police say she was sitting in her car talking on the phone with her mother at the moment that the gunman opened fire. A $31,000 reward has been offered for information leading to the killer's arrest. It's not clear if that reward led to any kind of tip detectives we are told interviewing the suspect of another robbery this is according to st louis metro police our affiliate in st louis ktvi news reporting that this individual being held is 18 years old and he is being questioned in regards to the boken case police are calling this man a person of interest in Saturday's killing, so that leads you to believe that detectives have their suspicions about this individual. As news breaks on the investigation, friends and loved ones are grieving their loss. Megan Boken, a standout volleyball player at Wheaton St. Francis High School, was beloved by many. She was an amazing girl, and she just did sports performance. She helped so many people, and she was a great friend. So. We're all going to miss her a lot. So once again, St. Louis Metro Police say they have a person of interest in custody. Detectives interviewing this 18-year-old individual who was taken in on an unrelated robbery case. Of course, we will have all the latest developments for you right here on WGN and an update on the WGN News at 5 p.m. In Wheaton, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian. Did Stacy Peterson lie to police to protect her husband? The man who served as pastor to Drew Peterson's missing fourth wife is on the stand. WGN's Tanya Francisco is live in Joliet with details on Neil Shore's testimony. Dina, Neil Shorey actually provided marriage counseling to both Drew Peterson and Stacy Peterson back in 2007. He says, but one day he got a phone call from Stacy Peterson asking to meet him separately, and he sensed that she had something important to say. Reverend Neil Shorey told jurors he met with Stacy Peterson at a Bolingbroke Starbucks in August of 2007 and that she looked nervous. He says she went on to tell him that she woke up in the middle of the night and found Drew Peterson in the laundry room wearing dark clothing. His sleeves were wet and that he was putting women's clothing that was not hers into the washing machine. Shorey says Stacy told him that was just before Kathleen Savio was found dead. Shorey's testimony is key to the prosecution's case because the state believes Peterson put Savio in a chokehold until she was unconscious and then drowned her in the bathtub. Shorey also told jurors Stacy claimed Drew Peterson coached her for hours on what to say to police 
and that a tearful Stacy told him she lied to police. Before court, Peterson attorney Joel Brodsky calls Shorey's testimony rank speculation and says that just because he's a